<clears throat> well, good morning. It's early morning. I've been, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? As you can tell, I'm not quite awake yet. Um, but I've been meaning to do more um, <clears throat> uh, get ready with me. Um, or in this case, I made an order and it came in as just uh, basically makeup for the an entire face of makeup so I thought we'd go ahead and get started and um, let's see what I've used as far as primer today is the glow oil by Supergoop it has an SPF of 50 this helps a lot um, as you get older you need more moisture and this really helps um, to get some moisture into the face in the morning. Um, I do have skincare underneath here. Um, I am using the LYS concealer and I've already put that on. You wouldn't want to see me without this on. So, um, so yeah, um, I ran out of the uh, Pretty Fresh by ColourPop as far as the concealer. So I'm using the LYS one. And it's a really good one too, very thin formula. As far as what I'm going to go ahead and use for foundation today, and I do use my fingers a lot, so if that bothers you, I'm just forewarning you that that's what I do. So um, I do have the color of Pop uh, Pretty Fresh, and this is in the 33C, which is uh, the cool color. And so I thought I'd go ahead and use that one today. And uh, so... Let's go ahead and get some makeup on. So yeah, I told you I used my fingers. And I should probably use something to hold the hair back, but when I'm in a hurry or it's a little bit early in the morning, that usually doesn't happen. So uh, there we go with 33 Cool on the face. And on the lips, which I wasn't going to do, but yeah, it happens sometime. So I'm going to go ahead and use ColourPop, uh, the ColourPop uh, lip oil to go ahead and um, yeah. and uh, there we go with that. And actually let's hmm, hmm, hmm. let's go ahead and do bronzer first and as far as bronzer i have coconut beach here uh this is the coconut beach that uh color pop has just mine is an older packaging so it is a color pop uh product and as far as going ahead and getting some on uh, this is a BS Mall brush. It's a face round brush. And I like it because it's just dense enough that I feel like I can really control where the powder's going. So again, really like this one. And um, yeah. As far as what I'm thinking, um, just a couple of thoughts in general um, about the industry, and I really haven't had much of an opinion on that before, um, but I'm just thinking that we should all be going to cardboard as much as possible. And it just it's just a better medium for makeup. It's... Um, yeah, that's my soapbox for today. I'm just thinking that as many companies should be going to cardboard because at least it um, disintegrates when you're done with it. And so really been feeling that way lately. And I thought I'd just go ahead and put my two cents in on that particular thought. And yeah, that lip oil just spread around the foundation that I have on my lips. So I am going to go ahead and take that off and I will be back in one second here. Okay, so back again 
and I think we're going to try the lip oil again. And I should probably, there's probably a reason why I don't do very many get readies with me, and that's because, yeah, I'm not too awake in the morning. There are some people that are morning people, and there are some people that aren't morning people, and I think I fall into the other category there. So, uh, yeah, as far as working on that, it's something that I can work on. So I did pick up two blushes. The first one I got from ColourPop. This is Sunset Strip, and it uh, looks like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try it on one side, and then I got a blush from Trixie that I'm going to try on the other one. And then I'll probably blend both of them so I don't look too crazy. But this is Sunset Strip, and it is a cream. And um, <clears throat> let's see, I haven't tried, well, I have a couple of the stick blushes, which I'm assuming that this is sort of like, um, but I haven't really tried this formula in this format before. So, yeah, that's kind of where it's going here. And so this is Sunset Strip, and this one is by ColourPop. And then on the other side, I got the Trixie, and this is in Sweetie. Sweetie. So um, <clears throat> this is what this one looks like. And um, again, I'm going to go ahead and apply with my fingers. That's how I usually do it. Oh, and they are somewhat simple. Well, not really. This one pulls more red and this one pulls more pink. So, But again, I haven't tried any of these before, so we're just going to go ahead. So uh, this one is the Trixie and Sweetie. And they're both pretty colors and they both have a lot of pigment to them. <clears throat> go ahead and... <clears throat> Again, there's a reason why I don't do early morning videos. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and try this one on top of, let's see, this. Oh, that's pretty. Actually, that's really pretty. And I had a feeling I'd like this formula. Um, I was really interested in going ahead and getting the uh, Juno collab. The, but um, I was putting in a big order at a couple of different places, so I didn't go ahead and do that this time. I thought I'd go ahead and try them out and see what I thought here. And then I'm going ahead and adding some of the Sunset Strip over here. <clears throat> okay, and I did go ahead and get another new formula that I haven't tried. This is the ColourPop Spotlight, so I thought I'd go ahead and use this as highlighter today. Again, a new product, and I haven't tried this formula either. Okay. So, yeah, it definitely isn't as glowy as uh, some of their super shocks, but as far as being a highlighter, it's doing that part. Okay, so there we go there. And yeah, I think we got a base going here. Um, as far as, let's see, let's go ahead and try something else new. Um, I picked up a So Glassy from ColourPop, and I'll have to put the name of it down in the bottom, but we'll go ahead and put this over the lip oil and see what it does here. So this one is actually part of the Lavish collection. And I was looking to go ahead and get one that had some sparkles in it. And this one does, but it's not 
as sparkly as I thought that it would be. So, um, but these so glassy glasses are really good to go over, <clears throat> like a matte uh, lips, and they're just they have enough stickiness that you can actually feel that they're there, but they don't have that stringy stuff that gets so weird. And so I thought I'd go ahead and use the Oma as uh, far as my brow. And so this is what I have. This is the Oma by Sharon C., the one that came out in... Um, in Walmart and so it's a drugstore version of the Oma and I think mine's in taupe but it's both a brow gel and a brow um, crayon both at the same time so and it's really nice small little so you can really get some of those yeah so let's see as far as filling in, I fill in a little bit more with a brow pencil and I end up with uh, twice the brows. If I go ahead and just use a brow gel, I end up with half the brows. And um, so just a little tip, um, you can definitely build up a brow pencil a lot more than you can a brow gel, in my opinion. And uh, the brow gel is actually included. So you get a brow pencil and a brow gel with this one. And uh, this brow gel is actually really, really pigmented. And I usually end up having to clean up a little bit after it, which really doesn't get me upset because I get, you know, twice as the brow volume for it. So it's really nice to have that. So we'll just clean it up a little bit here. And we've got some pretty big brows here. So uh, definitely a good one for building your brows past which you naturally have. So, yeah, this one is nice for that. It, it gives you a lot of um, oomph. Okay, so should we move on to the palette? We probably should at this point, huh? So as far as the palette, I mean, just the packaging alone, you need, if you have been to the American West, and you have seen the Red Rocks, then you're going to love this packaging because, um, I mean, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, um, all the places where you can see the Red Rocks and uh, just Wyoming, Montana, you know, the whole thing, the whole Rocky Mountain Range. So this is what I got for the palette. And um, it's a darker palette. I also went ahead and picked up the uh, Super Shock shades for this. And this one is Summer Hike. And this one, um, I swatched it and it has a lot of shine. And then this one is Rocky Start. <laughs> kind of my day today. And uh, so this one is actually a brown. And we'll go ahead and swatch these here. And I don't think I've ever had a brown Super Shock before. And it's definitely, well, it has a little bit of browns in it. So, yeah, these are the swatches. And yeah, that, can you see that? Well, let's see. Let's do it like this instead. It's very, very shiny, but I don't know if it's actually showing up. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And we'll use the palette <clears throat> to build and then probably use uh, the Super Shocks on the lid there. So as far as what I have in this palette, pretty, but kind of dark. So, okay, let's go ahead 
<coughs> and start with a crease color here. And I think I'm going <coughs> to, pardon me again, uh, go ahead and start with this as far as crease color. And this one is called Red Rocks. So, there we go with that part of it. And really, really pigmented shade there. Um, as far as the inner corner, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here. And again with the inner corner, I'm going to go all the way from the bottom up to the top here. And with me, my, uh, my eyes are set really close to my nose, so I go ahead and do this step most times, not all the time, um, just to go ahead and give me a little bit of space in between or to make my eyes look a little bit more wide set because my face is pretty thin together or all together except for my um, forehead so I spend a lot of time trying to make it wider and that's just you know that's a personal thing so um, hmm. um, as far as the brow I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and this is summer heat down here get a little bit of that going right there okay and I love super shocks they're just amazing and so I was uh, wanting to go ahead and get some more and uh, get my collection going again. I know that they've been having a sale on them, but um, yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and get some new ones, and this is what I got. So this is Summer Hike. I'll go ahead and do this one here. I'm do a little bit on the inner corner. Okay. <clears throat> and then I think I'll go ahead and use this rocky start and do it uh, as far as the outer corner here. And trying to blend in that little tiny space is not easy. So again, I usually uh, use my fingers. I'm not necessarily, I'll use brush for some things, but like I said, I just like to go ahead and play with my makeup, which I know just makes some people go, yuck. But um, yeah, that's, Highly tactile, I guess, is what you would call that. But, um, yeah. So let's go ahead. And again, I'm using some of this to go ahead and blend these two together. And uh, let's go ahead <clears throat> and use one of these for... This is another BS Mob brush here from a different collection. And this one is just a pencil brush that's good for going ahead and doing a liner. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one as the liner here. So this one is more of a terracotta, and I think it's a matte with um, some sparkles in it. So a matte with glitter.
Okay. So there we go. <clears throat> so uh, this is the Rock On palette. It's definitely a very warm, very dark palette. Uh, will work great for fall and winter. It's really pretty. And um, yeah, and uh, definitely gives you a whole bunch of regular browns and um, that it's almost going cranberry and terracotta and so really pretty there. Uh, as far as what I'm going to go ahead and use for mascara, I think I'm going to start with the Sky High by Maybelline. And we'll go ahead and do this. I, <clears throat> I think I'm waking up a little bit. My voice is waking up a little bit. Sorry about the rocky start, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and add in the Essence 72 Hour uh, Mascara on top of it. This is actually a tubing mascara, and so the um, Sky High will add length, and this will grab onto the length and add some more volume in. So let's go ahead and do this. So that really does go ahead and give my lashes a little bit more oomph than they actually have. And some days I can go ahead and get it to look like a fake lash. Um, today might not be one of those days. But as far as the way that the eyelid turned out, here we go. So there's that. <clears throat> and um, hmm. I think I want to go ahead and add in a little bit of the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is also new. I actually got this over at uh, Walgreens. It was on a clearance. And I was like, oh, not a Master Chrome. And so this is 150 Molten Peach. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of that on here. And these are just a really pretty formula. So again, this is an experiment, but it can't be too experimenty because I need to go through my day with it. So um, yeah, this is how this came out. <clears throat> and let's go ahead. I do have a couple more products and we'll see what can do as far as lips and a finishing powder. And this one is one of the Maybelline Superstay Mattings. This one is in 70. And so I think I'll go ahead and use this. And maybe the other one. This one's a little brown. So this is the one in 130. Yeah. I think I'll go with this one instead. So, uh, yeah. There is the Maybelline in 130. 
And as far as a finishing powder, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Glowish. And this one is in 01 Fair. This is by Huda. And the Laura Geller brush. And it's a really nice big stippling kind of brush. And as you get older, matte just ends up being too matte. So anything that I can do to get the face a little bit more glow is something that I'm going to go ahead and do. So in this case, whoop, there I go knocking things over and the camera and everything else. So, let's see. Actually, let's do a little bit more powder. Because we're going to use a new setting spray. We might as well see how well it works, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, new setting spray. Got the ninth inning by Trixie, and uh, you shake it up before you use it. And it does have some mica in it, which is how I like my sprays. And so, let me go ahead and uh, try. Like I said, this is new. I haven't tried this before, so. Let's see, but I have sprayed it, and that's what the sprayer looks like. Oh, it smells like coconut. It definitely takes you on a vacation, mini vacation there. Hmm, okay. Um, there's a lot of mist, but it's actually a nice mister, and um, yeah, it's nice. And it smells great. I mean, you can't beat the coconut and the vacation kind of vibes you're getting from it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put on some more So Glassy. Yeah, I'm ready to hit the beach. I'm nowhere near a beach. I need a beach. <laughs> so Glassy. To go ahead and give this matte lip a little bit of something. Okay, so there we go, and I think we're just about done at this point, but I think I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the uh, blush, just because this typically happens to me that my blush just sort of fades to the point that I'm like, yeah, no, I need a little bit more. So um We'll go in with both of them. Again, this Sunset Strip, and this one's by ColourPop. So, um, yeah, I've, I've heard people not liking this formula, but I don't... I'm not having any problem with it. It just, my makeup always fades when I put a setting spray on. So this is not unusual for me. And then the Trixie and Sweetie. We'll go ahead and mix these two together. And that way it will probably stay